What's up everybody, it's your boy Javon Francis and today I'm going to be taking a look at the VW T-Cross. I've just arrived at VW Stratum Park and I have to give a shout out to the guys who have made this all possible. VW Stratum Park was happening. Thank you so much for having me shoot this video. So, as promised, here we are at VW Stratum Park where I'm about to have a look at the VW T-Cross and right behind me is the model that I'm going to be having a look at. So let's go take a look. This specific Highline model is powered by a 3-cylinder 1-litre engine producing around 85 kilowatts and 200 newton meters of torque. Features on this model include a park package, which is an optional extra, LED headlamps for high and low beam, 18-inch alloy wheels, a full-color touchscreen infotainment system with a 300-watt six-speaker beat sound system, which includes a small subwoofer in the spare wheel compartment. Without further ado, let's jump in and see what it's all about. Here you go. So VW T-Cross time. And yes, it is a comfortable place to be in. So, I am inside the VW T-Cross and man, it is a comfortable place to be in. I'm sitting a bit low, so I'm gonna pump myself up so you can see me and I can see the road. Look at me pumping. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. That is just wrong. No. I just realized I had my shades on. So, without further ado, let us drive the VW T-Cross. I have got the keys. Yes, sir. I've got my shades, yes sir, and let's get gripping. Hello! Alright, let's go for it. So if, if I have to look over to my left and to my right, I feel like I've got quite a bit of room around me. These arches are quite big, but you don't feel it. And with this massive entertainment system in the middle, which I'll show you in a minute, um, I feel like, I feel like I'm driving a massive computer. All right, something come up on my dashboard. Ask me if it's safe to move. I think it's safe to move. So I'm in traffic at the moment and it feels, I feel higher than everybody right now. Maybe that's because I come from a very low car. But the roads on Malibongwe at the moment, if you guys know Johannesburg, the roads on Malibongwe are not really that, you know, smooth. And I really feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm fighting through the road. I feel almost, comfortable enough to waft like like I'm driving a luxury vehicle you don't get a sunroof which is okay remember you're still driving a mini SUV in an affordable market right so they're still trying to make this affordable but I'm getting a whole lot of car I'm getting a whole lot of tech for that amount so, the question is, is it worth it? So you can control pretty much everything from here, right? And let's come over here. So we've got phone, we've got media, we've got nav, and my one, ah, that looks awesome. So all of this is touch screen. These buttons are not actually buttons. They actually touch, they're responsive to touch. It's not actually. So if I click this mode button, this pops up. And I've got sport mode, I've got individual, which is obviously what I can, change I've got eco mode I'm gonna try and do sport look I'm not gonna get much out of it actually let's try eco because with the petrol prices today I really do not want to run out of fuel so let's try eco and we're gonna try this out so let me get onto the boot space now you get about between 355 and 400 and some odd liters of boot space now if you looked at the videos it's quite tall but it's also quite deep which is very important because a lot of mini SUVs are coming out with boot space which is quite high but not really quite deep and what that does is it really limits you I mean you're not going to be stacking up groceries one on top of the other for like three packets in a row so it's, which is really important and what, when I say between 345 and 400 and some odd what happens is that rear view back seat actually pulls forward so which is really nifty so if you're looking for a little bit more space or even a little bit more leg room uh, you can actually pull that uh, that entire back row back and forward. 
which I think is a nice touch, especially on the long road. If you've got passengers in the back, it really makes a difference. So I'm gonna take it up. I've got an in economy mode at the moment. Let's remember that. So let's actually take it. Yeah, so I mean, if I'm driving on the highway, I would want it in economy mode. So I'm gonna be overtaking. And that's foot flat. That is impressive. That's at about three and a half thousand, going to four thousand. I'm now overtaking, doing about 120. Car feels solid. It feels like I'm in control. I don't feel like I'm fighting with the vehicle. And the car doesn't sound like it's fighting against me. It doesn't sound like it's screaming at me for actually overtaking. So, that being said, while I'm on the highway, in the fast lane, doing about 120, I don't hear the engine screaming at me. I feel like I'm in a luxury vehicle. It is a comfortable place to be in. The seats really give you a lot of support. So, what are the pros and cons of this vehicle? Pros. The tech has to be down the number one, the tech that you get in this vehicle. It really, you really do get a lot of tech in this vehicle. I mean, from the digital dash to the in-car entertainment, infotainment system. Um, I mean, you get nav, you get apps, you get a whole lot. I mean, Apple CarPlay, I can connect my Apple phone and I can get all of my apps on here. It really is just a tech. A tech is heaven. Another upside is the comfort. The drive just feels smooth. I don't feel like I'm fighting with the vehicle. The steering wheel feels solid. It's not very often that you get a car that costs this much and gives you so much tech. I'm getting a digital dashboard. I'm getting in-car infotainment system. I can connect my apps. If you're, if you're an Apple guy, there's, there's Apple CarPlay. Uh, there's Android Auto, Mirror Link. I mean, this car comes packed with tech. Um, just driving, I can change views from my my digital dash or on my digital dash to my phone or uh, to just nav or whatever I want. Um, another upside is the comfort. I mean, these seats really, the bolsters on these seats really just give you that extra level of comfort. Um, I don't feel like I'm fighting with the car. I feel like I'm just driving. I'm enjoying the drive, and which is very important. Um, as you heard on the highway. The car is not screaming at me. I don't feel like I'm screaming at the car. I don't feel frustrated. I feel like the car is really just giving me what I need. And I was driving in the car mode, which is awesome. So that is it for me. I've just test drove the car. VWT Cross. You've heard my thoughts. I really like the car. Look, I mean, it's not really the best trimming and so on. I mean, I wouldn't really pick the orange. It is a bit bright and I don't mind it. But maybe after some time, I might get a little bit annoyed at it. But really you're getting a lot of car for very little i love the tech i love the drive yes it's a little plasticky a little here and there um but really you have to remember it's an affordable vehicle you're not getting a sunroof which i would have loved uh in this specific model you are getting really good speakers you're getting the beats uh, uh speakers inside which is awesome you get a good entertainment and you're getting usb ports you're getting wireless charging i mean if you're a city driver this is a perfect car for a city drive for on the road if you want to just do a road trip it's it's really a young guy's small family starting out or really just wants something to get around but still wants the tech and still wants all the features and still wants a comfortable car if that's you this is the car for you so my name is Javon Francis and that's it from me I hope you hit that subscribe button and like this video tell me what you think and I'll be I'll be replying to all of your comments so I hope you have a good one my name is Javon Francis signing out